Hi, I'm Kristen Omdahl and welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for making one of my patterns. Let's get started. This is the Phyllis Easy Crochet Cowl Pattern. This is a very quick one ball project. It's a great project for a beginner because the stitch pattern is easy to memorize. You will need one ball of be so easy yarn, which is my number five bulky weight milk cotton yarn. It's 145 yards per ball, and you will also need a size L11 or eight millimeter crochet hook. Let's get started. The sample is shown in color raisin, and I'll be using color taupe for the tutorial today, but be so easy yarn comes in 20 gorgeous colors from which you can choose from. We begin with tying our yarn to our crochet hook. You may use a slip knot, a square knot, whichever way you like to do it is fine. You can use whichever method you prefer. The first set of instructions say to loosely chain 63. If you are going to modify this pattern in any way, let's say you wanna make a bigger cowl, you would want to do your chain in a multiple of nine. So chain 63 is a multiple of nine times seven, so we'll be doing seven pattern repeats. But again, if you wanna make this bigger, you could definitely add more chains in a multiple of nine. And keep in mind, if you're making something bigger, you will need more yarn. This is a one ball project at this specific size. So we're going to loosely chain. And when I say loosely chain, you wanna be really relaxed while you're doing this. If you think that you crochet tightly and your chain is not going to be loose, you could always go up a hook size to do a loose chain. So we're gonna chain 63. Okay, here is my loose chain 63. Now you want to curl this around into a, close to a circle and make sure that everything is lying flat and that there are no twists in your chain. So using the table is a really good tool here. And what we're going to do is join this into a ring, making a point and being mindful that it's not twisted. So if you follow these V's of the top of the chain all the way around, you can see that it's not twisted. Then we can slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. Like that. And now we're ready to begin round one. Round one starts with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And then we're going to work a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, all in that same chain. Double crochet is yarn over your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, chain one, and then two more double crochets in that same space. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, and we'll do that one more time. So now with that chain three, we have the equivalent of one of our shells, which is two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. Next, chain three, skip the next two chains, and in the next chain, work a single crochet. Insert your hook in the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. That's a single crochet. Chain five. We're gonna skip the next two chains and single crochet in the next chain. Chain three. Skip two chains and work two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, all in the next chain. And our repeat for this row is chain three, skip two chains, single crochet in the next, chain five, skip two chains, single crochet in the next, chain three, skip two chains, and work two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the next chain. You wanna repeat that all the way across. Okay, so as you can see, we have our seven repeats of the pattern, and if we were just working in a tube, you would 
now slip stitched the top of the third chain at the beginning of the round to join. But we are going to make a Mobius twisted cowl and that means we're going to work simultaneously into both the top loops and the bottom loops of the starting chain at the same time to create the figure eight formation. So how do we do that? We're going to now pivot our starting chain and work into the opposite side of the starting chain from underneath now. So now we'll work our same seven repeats again, but into the opposite side of the starting chain. So now we're ready to begin with two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and the pattern is a mirror of itself. So if you're not sure which part of the stitch pattern you're in, it would be whatever is facing you in mirror form underneath. So there's the shell, so we'll work the shell in that chain. Then next up is the chain three, skip two chains and single crochet in the next chain, but notice we work that one there as well. Chain five, skip two chains and single crochet in the next chain. Chain three, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the next chain. So we're going to repeat this stitch pattern, repeat all the way around again. All right, so we've made it all the way around our starting chain for a second time. So now instead of seven repeats of the pattern, we really have 14 repeats of the pattern. And as you can see also, our pattern is now twisted as well. See how there's this one's flat, it's flat all the way around and there is one twist. And that's intentional by doing that figure eight construction. That's what gives us the one time twist that will then give our cowl the ability to be twisted one time in the front. Now. To join round one, you are going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And round two begins with slip stitching into that first chain one space in the middle of the first shell. Now, if you were gonna do this all in one color, that's all you need to do to set up to start round two. But let's say you wanted to change color. I thought it would be fun to add that option when showing you in the tutorial video. And also it gives me the ability to really show you with color how this construction is working. So I'm gonna grab a second color of Be So Easy yarn now. This is color sage green. And the yarn comes in 20 colors. They're all really pretty colors and all the colors really go well together. So if you wanted to mix and match two or three colors to create lots of different variation in your stripes, you totally could. And anytime you do that, it really helps to show the graphic construction style too. It's, it's really cool. You'll see in a second. So we're going to slip stitch to join in that same space, just like we did with our last color. So if you're doing it all in one color, that previous slip stitch was all you needed. I've just added a second color now as well. And we're ready to begin round two. Round two begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And then in that same chain one space, we're going to work double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. like that. Then next up is chain five and single crochet in the next chain five space. So we're skipping the chain three, single crochet in the chain five space, chain five. And in the next chain one space, work two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So this is our repeat for this round. It's chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the next chain one space. I'm gonna work half, I'm gonna work all the way around once, then show you how, what it looks like when we start working in the other side. All right, so we've made it through half of round two. So we've done the first half of the figure eight, which would be the top stripe. So it, we're working from that center line, we're working up, and down so we've done the top half of that stripe and we're now going to work the second half around the pivot so just so you can see you might be confused here saying oh i've reached the end of the round and i can join but look at there's a twist here so you really just want to follow the yarn without twisting as long as you follow the yarn without twisting the 
fabric will naturally create the figure eight. So now let's continue on in our pattern, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, and continuing and continue repeating this around. Okay, we are now at the end of our last repeat and we can slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And again, if you're not new to crochet, doing this all in one color is super easy, but if you are new, I think doing it in the two colors really help to drive home what we're actually doing so that you can recognize how to work into the top and bottom. And it really gives you the ability to see exactly what we're doing and what this construction style does. Look at this. This was one round and yet we got the striping done, growing our work from the bottom and growing our work from the top. We got the top and bottom stripe done simultaneously. Isn't that cool? I just think that the figure eight formation is so magical. Now, if you're not changing color, we're going to begin round three the same way we be began row round two, and that is now to slip stitch into the first chain one space. If you wanted to change color, this is where you would then fasten off and slip stitch to join here with a new color. But let's do it with the same color now so you can see how easy that is as well. So round three begins with a chain three that counts as a double crochet. And in that same chain one space, we're going to work one double crochet, chain one, and two double crochets. Chain three single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain three, and two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the next chain one space. And you want to repeat this all the way around. Okay, at the end of round three, we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. Round four is a repeat of round two, which starts with slip stitch into the first chain one space. And I'm going to actually change color again here. If you are not going to change color, that is perfectly fine. You would just continue on without cutting the yarn and adding a new color in. Okay, here we are at the end of round four. Really looking cute, isn't it? And I love the way the stripes look, but again, it's still pretty in one color too, and so easy because you can just whip, 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 and be just whip right through it and be done. Uh, it takes a little more work to weave in your ends to have the colors, but it's great to have the option. And especially if you're gonna make this more than once, which I think that you should. I've even made it more than once now. Um, I think that it's something that you could make for gifts over and over and over again. Okay, so we're going to, at the end of round four, slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And are you ready for this? We're on our final round. Round five finishes the cowl. It's a five round project. How exciting is that? So we're going to start round five with a slip stitch into the first chain one space. Chain three, which counts as our first double crochet, and work another double crochet in that same chain one space. Chain three pico, chain three, and single crochet in the third chain from your hook, and two more double crochets in that same chain one space. Like that, okay? Then in the next chain five space, work three single crochets. Chain three pico, chain three, single crochet in the third chain from your hook. Well, let me break that down again. So we did a chain three. We want a single crochet in the third chain from our hook. The loop on our hook does not count as a chain. It is the working loop. So you're gonna count back one, two, and three. Single crochet in the third chain. Then three single crochets in the next chain five space. And in the next chain one space, work two double crochets, chain three, single crochet in the third chain from your hook, and two more double crochets in that same chain one space. 
three single crochets in the next chain five space, chain three pico, chain three, single crochet in the third chain from your hook, three single crochets in the next chain five space, And this is what we're going to repeat all the way around. We'll do the two double crochet, chain three pico, two double crochet in the next chain one space, then three single crochets in the next chain five space, chain three pico, and three single crochets in the next chain five space. And you want to repeat that all the way around. Okay, we've reached the end of round five. It's time to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And are you ready for this? It is also time to fasten off because we are done making the Phyllis one ball crochet. Super easy, super quick Mobius cowl. Look at that. All we need to do now is weave in our loose ends and you are good to go. It makes a wonderful last minute gift. You can teach someone how to crochet with a simple and quick pattern like this as well. It looks beautiful in one color. It looks beautiful in multi-colors as well. Leave a, mess, uh, leave a comment with what you would prefer. Would you prefer to make this in one color or would you prefer to make it in multiple colors? If you follow the links in the video description, you can find a link to the free pattern page to view the pattern as well as the link for the PDF pattern download for $1.99 and you can also find a link to Be So Easy Yarn. You will only need one ball of this beautiful yarn and it comes in 20 gorgeous colors. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. Everything we talked about in this video is also linked in the video description. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.